Okay, good morning and welcome to Eden with Ben Sio. And today we're discussing, we're finishing the first parak in Ksuvos, Ksuvos Daf Ted Vav number 15. The Gemara mentions a lot of things about Rov. Presumably we're talking about Ruba the Isa Kamal, we're talking about Teisha Hanuyo, it's nine stores sell kosher meat. We're talking about cases where you throw a rock into a mob of nine Jews and one Kanaini, or nine Kanaini, nine non Jews and one Yisrael. Normally, the concept is Ruba the Isa Kaman, meaning we have Rove in front of us. Now we're not dealing with Rove in the world, a general categorization of Rove of most people in the world. We have a specific city, a specific group of people that's in front of us, so that's better. Like I mentioned, Mizakhlas Vamos, that's a much stronger Rove than Ruba the Isa Kaman. Even though Ruba the Isa Kaman is strong enough as a proof to be mostly Mamon, it's an 80% proof, but Ruba the Isa Kaman, I mentioned, a 90% proof, it's a much stronger proof. Uh, we are Chayshin and Lemiyutim in that case, because he's passing a Remeyer, it's a Gzeira that Remeyer makes, Chayshin and Lemiyutim, until you have, until you have Miyuta de Miyuta, which is 95%, I explain, and then we're not Chayshin and Lemiyuta. So, the Gemara here tries to figure out what's the Makor. We, we bring a Din over here. Kol Kavua Kamech Sal Mech In certain cases, even though you have a roll, like Keisha Chanuyos, if you went home from this, one of the stores, you forgot which store you bought it from, that's called Kavua, because we can't, it's not, the the, the, the suffix is on the stores and the stores are stationary. When the sort of stationary, so we have to adjudicate the case based on a stationary status, which is uh, uh, a non fluid status and we can't we can't look at numbers in that case. We just have to look at stationary. We look at just one suffix, suffix. So whatever the didn't suffix is, so if it's be surum suffix the rice of the And when it comes to tuma, suffix, you know, tuma Bashus Hayakid is Tom, maybe Sharabim is tar. So that's how we, we just judge it as a suffix, one big suffix. We can't say a 90% suffix, 50% suffix. We can't say, it doesn't matter how many stores are kosher. As long as there's one store that's non-kosher over there, so we go suffix the rice of the chumrah, you can't eat the meat. And that's based on uh, the Gemara derives, the Ariv lo of a Kamala, the Gemara derives, kol kavu a kamech sal mech sadami, bein lechumrah, bein lekula. Even you go lekula sometimes, like for example, suffix tumah, which is a rab, is tohar, uh, there's another case where the Gemara goes to Lakula, where the Gemara discusses directly, and that's the case where we learn it, where you throw a rock into a mob of people, not just a big mob, ten people, let's say. And nine of the people happen to be Yisraelim, and one is a Knaini. Right? One is a Knaini, one's not Jewish. And if you kill Yisrael, Right, according to the Rabbanon, even if you don't have, don't have intention for the person you're killing, you're still chay of sayev for killing him. Uh, you're still chay of misa. But what about if you have a robe? Most of the people there uh, are Jewish, right? And one is not Jewish, so the din is kol kavu mechsa mechsa dami, which seemingly most people interpret to mean it's fifty percent, fifty percent. And when it comes to isur and migol when it comes to nafashos, capital punishment. The Gemara Rashi brings a positive. We go to Lakula, like the Gemara says. So 50%, 50%, you go to uh, And because it's Kavua, right, we're not talking where they moved. The mob was stationary. They had their signs and they were protesting about the light rail in Yerushalayim. They were stationary. They weren't going anywhere. Maybe Eisenbach was there and they were throwing diapers at people, but at the police officers, but they were stationary. They weren't going anywhere. So in that case, it's kavua kol and because you have the one kanani over there, stopping the vashas lahakel. Now, the Gemara, the Gemara doesn't say. Um, why do the, I, my question is like is why does the Gemara have to come on the kol kavua kamechsal dasadami and therefore we treat it like the kanani is considered to be. Uh, there is present, so it's like 50%, 50%, so I know it's the That's the classic way of interpreting the Gemara. Forget about that. Forget it, Even if you judge the robe, right, robe Yisrael, I mentioned many times, you can't kill someone on capital punishment until you have almost 100% proof. That's the point of Hasra. Um, I think the point of Hasra is that generally aid them to see someone someone doing a capital punishment, something that is higher for a capital punishment, so that's 80% proof to aid them. Plus you have the Hasra, which acts as another 20% to guarantee that you did it, right? Hasra, if the Adam come and say, we saw it, that's, that's 80% proof. They say, we warned him, and he still did it anyway, right? 
that's a stronger proof because the eight are more present to the fact that they're actually warning him and he goes against Afal Pika and he's doing it. It's a stronger testimony and Hasra is worth another 20%, up to 100%. You need 100% proof to convict someone and to kill someone. That's the same reason when it comes to Sota, right? Kino Vistira, one makes an eight echa nemo and that she was Nistara. Eight echa is only 75% because the Kino, the warning is another 25%, add 20% added onto that, and 95% is already by Isurim. Sota is an Isser in the Torah, so therefore, which would answer her, right? Would answer her, so therefore, there, you're not cheshin and lemiyuta at 95%. When it comes to capital punishment, you need 100% proof. Here, all you have is, is 90% proof. 90% proof, why do you have to come on to call Kavuka Mesa Mesa Dami? There's still a 10% chance that it's a Knaini, that he killed a Knaini, non Jew. So 90% is good enough, right? Rove is good enough. Why do you have to come on to call Kavuka Mesa Mesa Dami? To that, I'd like to say a different shot. Call Kavuka Mesa Mesa Dami. Everyone thinks Kamehsa Mesa Dami is, is half and half. No, Mesa Mesa Dami means 50% on top of a 50%, 100%. It means 100% true that. 100% true that it was a Kanaini. When it's a Suffolk, because I'm in a Vashat Hakel, so there's a one Kanaini there, so therefore we have to treat it as one Suffolk. So it's 100%, I'm in a 100%, we assume it's a Kanaini, 100%. Like when you say, Suffolk Dari Sidl Homer in a Kol Kavuk and we assume it's the Nevela, the Bevada, 100%. And the same thing when it comes to the Suffolk Tuma, right? It's a Suffolk, but after the Suffolk, Kol Kavuk tells me, Kamehsa Mesa Dami, Tells me it's a hundred percent tummy, and if it's just a, just a rab, it's a hundred percent tor. That's the case. Shakol kavu kamasa masa dummy, and that's why the Gemara didn't say, um, and that, that's the chiddush of the Gemara that we treat it as a hundred percent like the tiny, because what? So what you'll tell me? So my back to the question, right? Ninety percent. I could have just said because you have a ten percent chance of being a tiny and roll ninety percent not good enough to kill somebody. The answer to that is is that. <clears throat> People over here, like we've mentioned before, um, there's something called Benimsa Halakha Kaharov, right? If you find a piece of meat outside 10 stores, nine are kosher, one is not kosher, so that's called Nimsa Halakha Kaharov. That's a regular case of Ruba the Isakama, 90%. Like you assume Ruba the Isakama, we go with Ruba the Isakama, 90%. Nimsa Halakha Kaharov. Um, and that's because. Um, it's called called the parish maruba parish. Called the parish maruba parish. Um, basically, what it means. Uh, I'm going back for a second. When you when the meat is, is separated from the stores, so that's called the that's called called the parish maruba parish. Meaning it was in the store and it got taken out of the store and dropped outside the store. So it had movement over there. Called the parish maruba parish. The vada we assume it's a hundred percent. Called the parish maruba parish. We assume it's a hundred percent. So the same thing over here when it comes to um, these people over here, that even though these people are called Kavua, there's two types of Kavua. There's Kavua where it hasn't moved at all, like Teisha Chanuyos, and there's Kavua where called the Parish Maruba Parish, where it has moved, but now it's stopped. It's moved, but now it's stopped. And these people, these protesters, whatever, they're a mob, they probably moved at some point and they stopped. So therefore, we would say over here, called the Parish Maruba Parish, and therefore we treat 100% Yisrael. Comes along Kavua and says, no, now that they stopped, they'll come back to So, um, and then we'd have to say that the case of Teisha Chanuyos, when Nimsa Halacha Charov, uh, we'd have to say that the person took, he found it, and then he took it and started moving with it, right? He took it and started moving with it, right? In the case called the Parish Maruba Parish, it moved and then it stopped. So then it moved and it stopped. So let's don it, right? Called the Parish Maruba Parish. That's a Torah's Vada. We assume it came from the Rov 100%. But when you pick up the piece of meat, you're not just going to pick it up. You're going to come and you're going to bring it to a Rov. Right or the case that we're talking about over here, where these people in Sipuri and Zipori were, were moving the, the Sheirut, they, they, or the Tinok Mushlach on Tervav and Beis, you found the baby and you took the baby and you brought it to the rub. Is this a Jew or not a Jew? So there, that's considered to be uh, that's considered to be a different case. That's considered a Ruba de Isa Kaman, Ruba de Isa Kaman, where it's completely moving, right? Ruba de Isa Kaman, that's a, a fluid situation. That's a Ruba de Isa Kaman, but called the Parish Maruba Parish is where. Um, is where it moved and then it stopped. If it moved and it stopped, then you would say, um, you would say, call the Barish Maruba Parish. Um, that's the conclusion today, Share. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.